Here we go. The Buffalo Bills, uh, American football team, suffer injuries to their team at a rate of 4.8 per month. Word rate straight away, straight away. I am thinking that is going to be lambda because a Poisson is based on rates of things occurring. So a rate of 4.8 per month. They hire a consultant who suggests making changes to their training regime. The first month and a half. So first month and a half. I was just noticed month, month and a half, different time periods. Uh, sees four fresh injuries. So using a 5% significance level, test whether the number of injuries, the frequency of injuries has changed. So um, with the consultant's work, is our result particularly surprising? He might have increased injury risk, he might have decreased injury risk. We don't know, we just know he's new and doing strange new stuff. Right, we need to establish a null and alternate hypotheses. So if we're sticking with the normal situation, so our null is the normal situation there has been no change to the rate of injuries. So given that it is Poisson, the rate is still 4.8. If this consultant has had an effect, one way or the other, then the rate of injuries will have changed. So our alternative would be that there's some change to our rate. Could be up, could be down, but there's some sort of change. So we can add these now. So our null hypothesis, that it's still at 4.8, and our alternate, there's been some sort of change to that rate of injuries. Uh, Buffalo is a gorgeous town in northern New York, not far from the Canadian border. And no, New York's not just a city, it's also a state, for those who are unsure of that fact. Um, so, to sign us on a significance level, we are told it is 5%. So a 5% level of significance. That's our alpha. Uh, collect suitable data that is random and independent while well, we're given the data here. Uh, time to actually conduct a test. So let's define what X is going to be. So X would need to be a uh, number of injuries to Buffalo Bills players in a month and a half. It is a pros on distribution still, but again note that our data is for a month and a half our rate is per month, so this needs to change to reflect our data. So it's normally 4.8 per month, we've got a month and a half's worth. Therefore, our new rate is 7.2 injuries every month and a half. Now, um, I hope you remember that we're testing a two-tailed test, we're testing at the bottom and the top. So we've got to split our rate in half. So it becomes 2.5% either end, or 0 0.025. So either that, win this 2.5%, or above 97.5% in that section. So remember, if we find depending on our test. If we find that it falls in this section, uh, it is particularly unlikely to happen, or this section is particularly unlikely to happen as well. 
Now, we are told there's four fresh injuries. This is unusually low given uh, our distribution, which means we're going to be testing the probability that x is less than or equal to 4. Okay, since 4 is seemingly unusually low, then if I got 3, 2, 1 or 0 injuries, they would also be seemingly unusually low. Now, the best part of this question is 7.2. Uh, last time I checked, isn't in our table. Oh, no, it's missing. They forgot to put it in again. Every year. Okay, then. So it means what we do get, or you might get, depending on your exam board, um, is the original calculation for our Poisson distribution. So less than or equals to 4 is going to be the probability x equals 0 plus the probability x equals 1 plus x equals 2 plus uh, x equals 3 plus x equals 4. And given that our Poisson distribution is e to the minus lambda, lambda power of x over x factorial. So, e to the minus 7.2 times lambda of 7.2, and our x here is 0, over 0 factorial, plus e to the minus 7.2 times 7.2 to the 1 now, over 1 factorial, plus e to the minus 7.2 times 7.2. You get the idea now. Come on, seriously. This is plenty, right? Yeah, and 3 and 4, etc. Let's take it all in the calculator, work it all out, and you get 0 0.1555, or 15.55%, which means, under normal conditions, there's a 15.55% chance that this normally happens. That if a consultant wasn't there, there's a 15.55% chance you'd still get four injuries in a month and a half window. So up here somewhere, 15.55. That's not in our critical region. Therefore, I have run out of room to interpret results. Um, let's stick it in here then. There we go. So we can write, there is no evidence at the 5% level of significance to reject HO, the null hypothesis. There's no evidence to suggest to reject that and to suggest that the exercises or consultants has changed the rate of injury. So there's no, there is no evidence to suggest at the 5% level of significance to reject HO. And there's no evidence to suggest that the consultant has changed the rate of injury. So it's putting it into the context of the question so you can tell whichever random head coach the Bills now have that um, this new consultant has not made any particular change at this level of significance on the rate of injuries.